first start a client and it will probably come up as not connected and no projectors so select uh, two projectors two by one and then you can uh, minimize the window then start server and launch the avenger pro surround project and it might come uh, up connected but if it doesn't come up connected double click on uh, projectors select one of the projectors click ok and connect and you should have all green and then uh, go to the fourth window and you will see projector one projector two and uh, then uh, here we go uh, you can select uh, that setting select black projector 2 and click on a, uh, on a fourth window just went through uh, reconnection again uh, so that's back to black and then fourth and a projector one and it will give you alignment grid then you will need to line up the laser uh, horizontally and vertically so horizontally uh, with the center line on the screen and vertically with the marks uh, which are marked on, uh, on the curved profiles which are holding the screen and um, I usually work my way from the edges uh, first I do the rough alignment and then the clean alignment just to get everything perfect over here you can see I'm lining up the control points uh, with the top center which is marked by the cross uh, of the laser and then bottom this process is about uh, consistency and being uh, precise it's worth uh, checking the marks close up and um, when you're doing the alignment you can um, use either mouse which is less um, accurate it's faster um, sort of it feels faster but actually the, the keyboard will be the one that will get get the job done the, the fastest and uh, so this is with the mouse so you can get it very roughly aligned and then you will need to use keyboard to do the final uh, adjustment uh, on a keyboard you you have uh, four modes so with the arrows you can uh, switch in between um, different control points so that's arrows only and then if you hold control and shift and use arrows uh, that will do big jumps if you use control uh, the movement is very fine and if you hold shift and use arrows the movement is very very fine so the jumps are just by one pixel once you get to the edge you will probably lose uh, some visibility so you will have to guesstimate uh, the position of the bitmap but it's not a problem because uh, once you will uh, move on to the other one so the same process, uh, black out the projector number one and then start aligning projector number two. Once you will have all the, uh, once you will have all the, uh, all, all the points lined up and the bitmap stretched, then you can um, very much look people that sitting nicely on top of each other and you will see it a little bit later on.
shape is aligned, you can uh, click on project of one and two, and that will bring up both bitmaps. And then you will have to have a look along the overlapped area to make sure you don't see any ghosting. So if you will see uh, sort of like a fringe edges or something is not quite sitting on top of each other, it, it, uh, then you will have to readjust it. You can use your hands to shade uh, one projector that will give you an idea if you will quickly move it in and out um, you will see if the lines are standing out or if they are not perfectly aligned so that's a little little trick you can use I usually check the center first then the left area which I do with the project number two and then the right area which I'm doing when I'm on a projector number one. Once you have it all lined up nicely, click on calculate and they will check, um, I will calculate for you the overlaps, uh, blending and everything. Uh, double check, triple check um, everything. And then go to the sixth one, click on a find first rooms, uh, same field of view and click on calculate. And then we'll bring you uh, this picture you can double check again that everything is sitting where it's supposed to uh, you should have uh, minus 0 0.5 to plus 5 and then you can run through the different bitmaps uh, to check that everything looks uh, how you want to Everything is calculated. Uh, you can click on uh, export, select all the programs you want to use, and export it to folder, uh, which uh, you can find very easy. And then follow the instructions, uh, which are with the exported files.